Hello, goddess, and welcome to this week's Super Sign Sunday Divine Feminine Energy Empowerment Message. That's that's what these have become. Just instead of a whole energy reading, that I mean, yes, that's what the, this is. But it's the energy empowerment message. It's what you are needing to hear at this time for you to be reclaiming your power, to be rising and thriving on your self-love empowerment journey, as well as we know a twin flame journey. Well, that's what a twin flame journey is, right? A self-love empowerment journey. If you are new to my channel, my name is Rochelle Richard. Hi, I'm going to peek in here. Hi. <laughs> And we look for and find our power over here at Empowerment Experiences. For those on the Healing Twin Flames journey, that I'm right there with you, of course, right? That was not something I went looking for. It found me. <laughs> As do all the things that we are here to have find us, that we have asked to experience while we're here. So it's going to find you. The, the, I'm hearing that that quote, right? What what's let's see? It's it goes. Uh, it's one of those where you can trip over the words, and you all know how I love my words. But it's the phrase that what's meant for you will never miss you, and what misses you was never meant for you. Right? Everything that happens is supposed to happen. Everything that doesn't happen wasn't supposed to happen. Oof. That feels like just this big, huge weight that you can lift off of your shoulders right now, dear Divine Feminine. You can, you can allow yourself to honor the past exactly as it is, as it was, as it is, and as it always will be because you cannot change it. We can only create in this moment in this present moment. That's where our power is, right here, right now. And I'm so grateful that you are sharing in this journey with me, Goddess, and I am so grateful that you have invited me into your journey as well. I do hope you will come and join an even deeper level with the Goddess Tribe, our Rise and Thrive Tribe we have going with the Goddesses. And we are actually launching, um, it would be today as this video is being published, that we will be doing a new moon ritual within the group. It's a bonus that I've included at uh, this open, now with the open doors for members right now that we have going. It's just to come and experience something that has been so loved within the group, as well as the group itself. There are, uh, as goddesses have, have heard more about it, who were in my groups before, who have missed being in my groups. It's definitely so exciting to be bringing everybody back together and of course growing and inviting all of you who have yet to find a home, who have yet to find a place where you feel as though you do belong where you are ready to step out of that box of the things that you know just don't quite feel right with the whole big picture of the world. And, and you'd really like to be focusing on what you would like to be creating for yourself in this moment. To really truly create something new rather than reliving the old that is what the rise and thrive tribe ascended is all about that's always my objective that's always my my mission and my purpose here is to be supporting you in reclaiming your journey reclaiming your power on your journey your self-love empowerment journey so with that the that link will be down below in the description and i'm like where are we at this is where we are I was like all over so you know we're gonna we're gonna take a moment because what I reached for first was the power of surrender cards so you know what let's go there that's where we're gonna start we it's really again 
recognizing, paying attention to the amplified themes right now in our lives. That's what, that's what these energy readings are about. That's what I say energy empowerment messages are about is where, where is your power right now? Where are you being called to focus right now? Because that's where your power is. And clearly right now we're, we're in that very much, of course, as we tend to often be frequently of releasing control, letting go of trying because trying I use when it's appropriate, trying to control what you cannot control. And I use try in that context because try is an escape hatch for the ego. Like it's not actually achieving what it's claiming to desire to achieve, right? It says, but I'm trying to do that, but it's not actually doing it. It's not stepping into it. It's not creating the results that are desired because you're not taking that action. You're not really truly shifting into that. And you can't really change something that you don't have power over because you're trying to change the wrong thing. Again, try, you're trying to change the wrong thing and that's why you are not, quote, succeeding. Because you're trying to have power over something that you don't have power over, right? So, a little bit of deeper clarification for control and our need to reclaim our power from that. And so where is the power of surrender right now to further assist the divine feminine in aligning with the flow and right off the bat, right? Surrender comparisons with other people. This is so big for, for feminines right now. And it has been, we, are being shown so often what beauty looks like or what we should be doing, how we should do things. But we never really have taken the time to get to know ourselves until now, right? That's what this spiritual awakening journey is about. It is about releasing that which you were taught that you are, but you are not and stepping into that which you truly are, reacquainting yourself and remembering who and what you truly are and the power that you truly possess. And when you can see that uniqueness within yourself, when you can recognize the power that is you as you and only you, that nobody else could ever be or have or do. No one could ever replace you. You bring into this world gifts and, and blessings that only you bestow. So honor your gifts. In fact, right now, that's, that's the first little journal assignment is, and I say little, but I do, I, I, I'm feeling to say, make, make sure it's as, as, as full as you can make it to be and allow it to be. Make a list of all of your strengths. Oh my goodness, your strengths, your skills, your knowledge. That's even been part of my self-love empowerment challenges. And in fact, I do have that. I haven't mentioned it in a minute. I have my twin flame confirmation checklist that I've had for a couple years now, and it's been added to and expanded, and it's been well loved when <laughs> people, when I've encouraged people to download it and mention that I have it. And that I ended up linking up, tying together with a 17 day self love empowerment challenge because there's just so much, and then there's so much more beyond that. There's just so much that out there that we can be doing for ourselves to be stepping more and more into each our own power. And this right now is where you are right now. Your power is, is being shown that it is to be found in you pulling back the curtain and revealing for yourself all the amazing that is you. <laughs> I just here in this moment, because it's my birthday month, 
it's my birthday month and my entire life has been a, a challenge to celebrate my birthday. It goes all the way back to, you know, <laughs> of course, you know, that, that inner child space. But every year, and we only get to work on this like once a year because that's how often our birthdays come around. It, it's that challenge presented all over again of learning, relearning how to actually not just celebrate myself, but allow for myself to be celebrated, right? Well, this is one of the foundational ways of doing this. This is one of the things that I did many, many years ago to help me see all the amazing in me. So that is your assignment, goddess. You're actually getting an assignment, not just a journal prompt, but a, an assignment. Make a list of all your insanely awesome skills, knowledge, talents, and, and, and gifts. There's a whole little list of all of those, all of those things. What are you good at? It can be something that may seem useless, useless. All right, put it on a list. Focus on all the things that make you amazing. And then allow, allow for the universe to show that love to you. Allow for Let the energy in. That's, that's what I'm hearing. Let the energy in. Let the love in. Let the energy that is love in. That's what prayer is. You are asking for, to receive something. You are asking for support. You are opening yourself up for receiving. You may be expressing appreciation because prayer grat gratitude is a form of prayer as well so allow for allow for the depths of your heart to be revealed about you What do we need to be praying about? What do we need to be inquiring in, in communication with the universe or with, with source, with God, whatever label you choose, or with your guides, whomever is needing to speak with you or get a message to you or whomever or whatever is that which you feel supports you through this world. Your whole spirit team. Your whole soul team. What are we needing? This is why. This, this is why. This is why you're being asked to to let go, to really let yourself see what's needing to be let go so that this rebirth of you really truly stepping into this version of you that you need to be in order to live the life that you keep asking for. Because that is how it works. I know when things feel as though you're drowning in what's happening understand that that's like the, the wash cycle of life so to speak it's cleaning out all of that which doesn't resonate and when when that wash cycle happens right all of the dirt all the icky everything gets pulled out pulled out of you at that time and that's when it seems like shit hits the fan it's because that's being released from you it's being f closed out those timelines are being collapsed so that you can step into this new space 
And in order to step into the space that's best aligned with who you truly are and where you are now and what you desire now from where you are now, that the very last thing that's going to help you is comparing yourself to other people or ignoring or negating your own amazing, your own inner gifts. That's, that's what this rebirth is about, is for you to be stepping more into your gifts, into your truth, into using your voice and standing in your power. When was the last time, goddess, that you actually wrote out ooh, 1555 as I say this, as I'm asking you to update what your vision is, what your reality is? I mean, I, I know that we've been led to, I've been led to speak on it a couple times, but have you actually taken that time to sit down and really open yourself up to that deeper part of you, to that connection, that source connection and, and anchor into the clarity of the gifts that, that you possess, the gift that you are and how you can take all of that, all that you are, and then some that you don't even know that you are. And bestow and bless the world with it in a way that lifts the world up and lifts you up because if you comparison is a killer Con comparisons crush they crush dreams they crush people they crush souls because we each are different and that's what this entitled 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 entire human collective rebirth is about is there are forces at at work that are working overtime to corral humanity into a box of total enslavement total enslavement Making us all the same and all, every one of us, disposable. No one unique. That's the rebirth now. Is to realize that the more we're encouraged, shall we say, by these dark forces to exalt up only certain groups in within humanity that's what will further continue to perpetuate the divide to perpetuate the comparison to perpetuate the suffering and the suffocating and the eventual enslavement of everybody because we fight with each other rather than honoring the uniqueness within ourselves, within, like me within me and you within you, and then us within each other, rather than being in this space of separatism, separateness, apart from who we each truly are within ourselves and that's what that's what this is when we are not really looking inside of ourselves and seeing the amazing in ourselves if we cannot see the amazing within ourselves how can we really truly see and honor the amazing in others if we are not doing that for ourselves and that's what this time of rebirth is about it is about really honoring you and allowing for that that act of honor to be and to become to become and be an integral part 
of this new reality that you are stepping into, of this rebirth, this new version of you, that you really are stepping into this new level of awareness within yourself where you're going to be catching yourself more and more when you put yourself down, when you <laughs> are telling yourself that, oh, there's plenty of people that do what I do. There's nothing special about me. And you, those who know me, who've been in my circle, you all know that I tell you all some of the programs that go in my mind. And that is one of them. It says, why are you bothering, Rochelle? There are so many people that do what you do. There is nothing special about you. That's what my mean girl says to me, right? That's the comparisons. And that's when it's the time to go, wait a minute. Let me pull out my list, right? This is why I journal the way I do. And it's, it's, I've fallen off the wagon a bit with my whole creative journaling. I'm getting back on it. That's, that's what life, that's the cycles we go through. It's been intense healing where, you know, it, yeah, cycles, right? Rebirth, rebirth after rebirth. And sometimes certain phases of your life, things that you, would usually be so committed to and so adamant about making sure a part of your routine end up falling by the wayside because of the other kind of work that you are being called to focus on and being called through. But that breakdown to break through is what leads us back through and home to more and more to who we truly are. So yes, that, that story of, you know, oh, there's plenty of people doing what you do is, it's just nonsense because the bottom line of it is that there's nobody that does what you do the way that you do it, your energy, your presence, your delivery, your style, your personality, your charisma, all of that. So 1555, oh, 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 <laughs> as we're saying this, create a new reality space, be more decisive toward that which you desire to achieve. Holy wowzers, holy wowzers, goddess. I love this. Stop doubting your capabilities. 1555, stop doubting your capabilities. And that is exactly what... You are doing when you are comparing yourself in any way, shape, or form with someone else. You are doubting your own capabilities. You are undermining your own natural gifts, talents, your knowledge, your, your understanding, your wisdom, your talents. So break free of all that which, of all of, of all of which is holding you back. Break free of all which is holding you back. That's 1555. Look to the future with optimism and eagerness, right? When we are creating this new reality in this, in this rebirth space, you are creating a vision and a version of yourself that is aligned with that, with what you desire and with that vision. So you've got to be the one of course, that breaks yourself free of what's holding you back and looking to the future with optimism and eagerness. You are creating this vision and you're lining up with it as though it already is stepping into it as though it already is. That's how we manifest. Release negative energies of your past. Oh my goodness. When we started off today's message, it was about Letting the past be where it is. Let go of the past. Caps lock right there. Let go of the past. Feeling confident allows for abundance and peace of mind. Oh my goodness, 1555 is so aligned with our message today. New beginnings, new doors to manifestation. Rebirth right there just wow <laughs> oh my gosh wow i love i love that i love that so much so what we're gonna do 
as we're gonna have just just that unicorn card and I am actually feeling called Wow they really wanted to uh, to have a party here and look so look this is the one that uh, was you know sitting right there fill up your well right this is this is what is needed right now during this time of of rebirth of of allowing yourself to really feel because if you're tired right if you're worn down you're not going to be able to truly connect with and feel your true essence your true power right because you're drained you're tired your 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 fuel tank your battery is you know on on it's dead right so right now as you're doing this assignment take some time take your journal a nice little honey sweetened cup of tea and just sit and be and really honor thee <laughs> right and that's thee with two e's right that would be you honor you make this list of your insanely awesome gifts talents knowledge and skills let yourself really feel into all the amazing that you are just right here right now in this moment right here right now in this moment and in that moment, as you are writing this list, goddess, let yourself feel that accomplishment all over again. Let yourself feel how amazing it feels, how proud of yourself. Yes, damn it, proud of you. Be proud of yourself for what you have learned, what you're capable of achieving, what you know, what you've overcome. Because that, that is all of this knowledge and this power and this, that is all a part of you that is bringing you into this new version of you. All of that has been building you up to get to where you are now and where you want to be just as all that's to come is on the way to where you want to be. So you need to know the power in the, you need to know your ability. And that's so, so bigly. I love that word, bigly, in a big way. That's what that translation would be, in a big way, so bigly so massively about amplifying the amazing that you are goddess that's what that's what may is and I, I i've been led to say this because it's my birthday month as i've said so the the theme that it just keeps coming out for the divine feminine is me may goddess it's me may it's like the springs to summer right things are are you know coming back to life of course and blossoming and blooming i mean we've got allergies i'm sneezing like crazy out here right it is that time where you really open your eyes like a flower unfolds its petals to the sun open your eyes to see the brilliance of you open your eyes to see that light shining through and that's all you've got to do to be truly honoring you. And that is to, again, acknowledge, write out, make a, a long, long list. And in fact, please, please share with the rest of us. Comment below and let us know 
some things that you are proud of yourself for. Goddess, what are you fucking proud of? I know there's some things that you can be and you better be proud of. Let the rest of us celebrate with you. Let the rest of us be excited for you and proud with you. And honor you too as we honor each other together and lift each other up together. We rise and thrive together. Together. And with that, goddess, we have had such an amazing message today, right? Oh my goodness. Honoring the divine feminine and all the amazing, the unique divine feminine energy as manifested through, within, and of, by each and every one of us. With that, dear goddess, I remind you as I am here to do, that the power, the power to honor you, the power to rise and thrive, the power is in your hands. Because that power has always, always, always been inside you. Namaste.